what to do anymore, or even where to begin. No one will listen to me. I come here every day, I'm depressed, I'm sad, I'm frightened for my life. These bullies, they come up to me every day and push me around and say mean and horrible things to me. Then I just go home and I lay there, looking at the ceiling, wishing, praying that they'll just stop. But they don't. Why am I so different? Why can't I be normal? Why do you have to pick on me? What did I ever do? I just wish they would stop. She was my best friend. She was smart and beautiful. But she made one bad decision. A decision that changed her life, literally, for forever. Her boyfriend asked for a picture, so she sent him one. And everything was fine for a while, until they broke up. And so he sent the picture to a friend, and after that the photo quickly spread. So much that the entire school knew. And after that, that's when things got bad. Really bad. At school, girls would call her vicious names. People would point at her and mock her. She was tortured daily. Tortured to the point where she just couldn't take it anymore. She was my best friend. And I will never forget her. just had this mat for pissing me off. Yeah, he loved me. As long as I was doing what he wanted me to do. So, one day after school, I go out to my car and she's not there. She knows she's supposed to be out there waiting for me. Shh. She knows she's supposed to be out there waiting for me and she wasn't there. But I was there. It's so embarrassing. She wouldn't even like call me or text me back. So a couple weeks ago, a few of my friends wanted to go eat some pizza after school, and I knew that he'd be waiting for me in the parking lot. So I tried to call him, but my phone was dead. So I couldn't get in touch with him. But I really wanted to go, even though I knew he'd be mad. So I did. She left me standing out there like some idiot. How could she embarrass me like that? When I figured out where she was, of course I got mad. So I went to the restaurant, waited for her to come outside, and when she did, she looked scared. But then she just started to glare at me. I told her I needed to talk, so I led her to my car, but before I could say anything, she started getting an attitude. And as she spoke, I got angrier and angrier. So I hit her. Yeah, I hit her. And then I got in my car, I just drove away. Just as we were leaving the restaurant, he was there waiting for me. And I could tell that he was mad, and that scared me at first, but then I realized, what the heck am I afraid of? He doesn't control me. He doesn't own me. And so I walked over to his car, and I told him just how I was feeling, and that I was tired of the way that he was treating me. And as I spoke, I could just see that he was getting angrier and angrier. And then he hit me. I don't know how things got like this. If only she had been waiting for me after school let out, then everything would have been okay. She was disrespecting me. And I just straightened her out. That's not how you act in a relationship or to someone you love. So that's why I hit her. And then she sent me some text saying thank you for making me a stronger person. Probably some joke. So, after he hit me, I went to see a counselor at the Student Health Center. They made me realize that it wasn't my fault, that I deserve to be treated better, and that loving someone doesn't mean controlling them. So, I sent him a text, and it said, thank you. Thank you for making me a stronger person. He made me realize that 
I deserve better.